And I'm sorry to raise this now. But Honorable Speaker, you, you notice when you are up on your feet, there are members who are standing and conversing in very, very loudly, Honorable Speaker. And Speaker, I also noticed last week, I think we are now making the National Assembly look like a village marketplace, not even a marketplace, because there are some markets that are very decent, people are also quiet. When members speak to stand, Honorable Speaker, there are members who have made it a habit of heckling and shouting and never allowing other members to speak. Honorable Speaker, now what worries me is that you are on your feet and there's a group of members conversing in vernacular behind here. Another group at the corner there also conversing very loudly and we can hardly hear you. Honorable Speaker, I just want to ask you and uh, the chairs who sit on your seat when you are not, the, subs the substantive speaker is not on his seat, that we exercise firmness in how we transact business of, on the floor of the House, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, if you noticed last week on Thursday or Wednesday, I think it was on Thursday, when we had the adjournment motion, the Honorable Rosa Buyu rose from her seat where the Honorable Karoli Omondi is seated today and walked to the front menacingly. Fortunately, I am not Sabina Shaka. I could not stop from saying what I was saying. But there are members, Honorable Speaker, who will not have the courage to continue speaking. And you see, when people shout at you when you are speaking, people tend to lose their trail of thought and members get derailed from being able to debate. And we must make this house a house of debate. It is very embarrassing when you cut out your name in this house, Honorable Speaker, that the best thing you can do is open your mouth, shout and heckle at each other. It's an embarrassment to the people who have elected you that they elected you to come to a debating house, a debating chamber to debate. And they chose you among us, many other Kenyans who are vying for that position. So I just want, and I don't want to name names, Honorable Speaker, but they are known. Those who have made it a habit of heckling, shouting, they are those who hold that trophy in this house. Honorable Speaker, it's also unfortunate that they are learning, some of our new members are learning from veterans of the house, members who have been here for a long time. I struggle, Honorable Speaker, when members on this side, when the leader, for instance, is speaking, and you bear me witness, there are members who attempted to shout him down, and I told them to allow him to say what he has to say. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I just wanted to beg that we, you, you help us to restore the dignity of this house. Because every day it is sinking to new laws. And it is sad when it is members who are making us look like we are in a marketplace. Honorable Speaker, it worries me now that it, it, it has begun with when members are speaking. Now, even when the speaker is on his feet, members are still standing, walking around and conversing. And it is not fair, Honorable Speaker, not to you, but to the dignity and honor of this house. Honorable Speaker, I just wanted to beg that uh, you, you also implore on the uh, Speaker's panel members to be firm. There is no reason why a member should rise from their place to go and attempt to stop the Honorable Pio Andai from criticizing government because he is the leader of minority and that is his work. He has no other work. The same with me. I have no other work but to push government business on the floor of this house. And whether you like my voice, whether you like my looks, whether you like what I am saying, hold your horses. You don't have to like me. And you don't even need to like what I am saying or what the Honorable Pio and I is saying or what... I particularly never like anything Robert Mbui says. 
but I allow him to say it. And I will have the time to respond. Honorable Speaker, I just want to beg <coughs> that we, 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 we restore the dignity and honor of the people who have elected us to come and represent them. I don't think there is any Kenyan who elected a member of parliament to come to the house and heckle other members. There are places to heckle in markets and bars and other places. If you want to mourn, you can go mourn in funerals. Not here, Honorable Speaker. With those few remarks, Honorable Speaker, I beg that you, you do guide the House and guide the uh, chairs of the Speaker's panel not to tolerate. I particularly uh, liked what you did, the action you took against a number of members on the incident between Sabina Shege and a few members. But Honorable Speaker, I would beg that that becomes the norm, not the exception now, so that we restore the dignity and respect for each other and also respect for the House, Honorable Speaker. Thank you.